Dallas Supercar Giddy here and this is a very special video because now I know that this is well after the fact but on March 8th was the anniversary of when I got this car the one year anniversary and oh my gosh it has been quite a year let me tell you it's been quite a year this car has completely changed my life in so many ways it's it's unexplainable but I'm gonna go through the list first I'm gonna tell you all the mods I've done then I'm gonna tell you all the problems and then I'm gonna tell you what is so special about it so let's go through the mod list in order from uh, first mod to last mod okay so my first mod was the touchscreen stereo right here that broke twice but let, but we'll get to that or it broke once and the second one sucks but we'll get to that so first mod is touchscreen stereo second mod I blacked out the tail lights with plastic dip third mod exhaust then lowering spring then the interior lights that broke the first time then my wooden shift knob which I have a video of then the eyelids then I painted the engine cover and then I put the carbon fiber air duct in the car which is really really dope I love that thing then I put in the air intake then I got better tint on the tail lights, the like real film tint. Then I got my halo headlights. Y'all have seen that video, how not to install headlights on a 350Z or something like that. Then I tinted my reflectors in the front. And yeah, I tinted my, my reflectors in the front. And then I tinted my reverse lights in the back after I did the tail lights. Then I got better interior lights that are really, really dope and I love them to death. They actually work, they don't break, it's amazing. Then I got the black lipstick on the front. Then I got the RGB dome lights here. And then I got the green LED license plate bulbs for the back. Then I got the underglow, then I got the new wheels, then I got the ducktail spoiler which is on there right now. And that is everything I've done to the car. You may notice something. Only two of those things are performance mods. The exhaust and the air intake. And they don't even add that much performance. And they were both like an eBay part thing. <laughs> In fact, everything I've gotten on this car, except like a few things like my wheels, were all bought on eBay. Everything on this car is eBay. And I don't care. I don't care because I love it anyway. In fact, I really want to get a, a I really want to get an eBay sticker that has a clear backing and then use the Z that used to be on the back of my car from the whole like 350Z emblem and then and put uh, and make it like eBay Z on the on the side window over there that, that would be dope I think that would, that would be really dope but now that I've gone through the mods let's go to the list of problems which thankfully is a lot shorter <laughs> so one I right now I think I have a pulley squeak I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that uh, either a pulley is squeaking or the belt is squeaking or ch chain it might be. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I still haven't checked that. But <laughs> something is squeaking in the engine when it's idling, uh, when it's cold. I don't know if it doesn't when it heats up. I don't really remember, but I, th I think it might. Another problem with these new wheels, the freaking 20s with 35 tires, they rub. They rub a lot. I tried to roll the fenders. It was eh. Y'all have seen that video. It was eh. It was eh. But I tried one of the fenders. It did okay. It did enough. The front, it did great. It doesn't rub ever on the front. I go over hard ass bumps. doesn't even rub on the front. But the back, I go over little bumps and it rubs <laughs> like super hard. So I got to fix that. My uh, Another problem that Corey pointed out in one of my, in the ducktail video, my exhaust tips are rusting. Cause they're cheap bullshit. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't really care that much. It doesn't really bother me to the point of paying like $25 for new exhaust tips that are gonna rust the exact same way. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna pay for that, fuck that. Mm -mm. Nope. Not today, not today, I'll tell you that right now. Another problem, the battery, the positive battery terminal kept popping out. That was annoying as a motherfucker. Oh, 
Oh my god. I'll be I'll be driving normal day, normal day, go over a bump, radio turns off. That means that my battery was was disconnected. When I shut it off, I'm going to need to open up the hood in public. Open up the hood. Click it back on there temporarily. Drive, drive literally five feet till it pops out again. Tiniest bump to make it pop out. So how did I fix this? Well, first off, I had to buy a new battery terminal, and I actually kind of didn't need to do that, but I did. Well, actually, no, I think I did need need to do that because it it, it was fine for a while. Like it was really good for a while. And then one day they decided to shit on me and it went out. So I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck this. I am sick of it. I tightened it down as far as it could go. And then I hammered it down onto the uh, onto the positive side of the battery. So I literally forced it onto the positive side so that it would not fall off ever again and it hasn't <laughs> so far it has so far it's been good it's been i it's been i thank god it that hasn't happened for a really 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 long time uh which is great one time i got locked out of my car i mean that sucked i had to call someone i had to try to get a hanger in the door because i thought i could maybe make it work um it didn't and the hanger got stuck, and I couldn't get it out. It got wrapped around some, so I just had to cut it. Just so there's currently a piece of hanger inside of this door in here somewhere. <laughs> Another problem: the radio that this car came with was broken. It's also really bonked too. It sucks. It has, well, I mean, it has like normal radio and CD, and the CD changer was broken. The uh, the radio I think worked, but the, but the CD changer was broken so I just like fuck this that was that that was, that was the first thing I bought was a new radio and it was like a hundred dollars and that was like the cheapest one was a hundred dollars so I got that one installed it in like the first week I think I I installed that radio before I ever drove the car out on the like on the roads like that that radio was the very very first thing I ever did always been this it's always been this squeaking sound it's always so many squeaking sounds in this car god still love you still love you another problem there is a leak in this door seal over here and that leak just so happens to be right where my left arm is whenever I'm like holding my steering wheel so if it's raining like really really hard or I'm inside a car wash or something like that Mainly when it's just raining like like really really hard, um, little thing will happen where what where random water droplets will just dribble onto my arm and they're really cold and it's annoying and it freaks me out. I hate it. It's not that bad though, but I mean, ugh, I don't I, I I I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. So it takes away it takes away from the whole from the whole shebang, you know. On my old wheels. The, the front right tire would deflate. The thing is, it, it it had a leak that was so small that you could fill it up and you wouldn't notice the it going down until maybe two weeks later. Like this was the tiniest leak of all time. I'm talking like hairline fracture leak. I, I even looked all over that wheel I found nothing. I did not find a single thing on that wheel. As far as, as far as I knew, there was not a damn thing wrong with it. Another problem I've been having is the brakes tend to squeal because they're getting down. The wear, the wear, bleh, bleh, wear indicators are indicating and squeaking it's annoying as fuck and I hate it I bought new brake pads for the for the rears because the rears are the ones that are squeaking and uh, yeah it didn't fit but they didn't fit by that I mean like I uh, I opened up the caliper you know 
tried all of that and just simply just would not wouldn't go in like I think I, I might need to relieve pressure on the piston maybe that might work that might do the do the trick but uh, as far as I know I don't know <laughs> as far as I know I don't know <laughs> all right I'm, I'm arriving here at KFC so I gotta shut you guys off for a minute but I'll BRB don't scrape don't scrape on it didn't huh? Ooh, ah, yeah. Ooh, okay we're good That's new. Okay. All Gucci. All Gucci. Got my fried chicken over here. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to embrace stereotypes, but god damn it, fried chicken is so good. It's so good. Who doesn't love fried chicken? Come, come on now. Who who of any race doesn't like fried chicken? It's just that black people especially like fried chicken. At sometimes. It's not it's not a stereotype. It's just fact. No, I shouldn't say that. That that sounds backwards. It's not a stereotype that just black people love fried chicken. It's just fact that all people like fried chicken. There we go. Anyways, back to the car. The last problem I've been having is not really a common problem, and it's very preventable. When I when I redline on a pull, and I'm shifting from first to second really fast, it grinds the gear. But thing is that's not a big issue like it doesn't grind every single time I like shift into it you know what I mean it just grinds when I pull really really hard from first to second really fast like like a really hard fast pull I could have gone on that yellow god damn it I didn't go on the yellow god damn it I what I do I yellow I whatever <laughs> anyways okay now what are the amazing things I have that have happened with this car? What have I learned about this car in the time I've had it? Well, for one, for one, I learned to drift a little bit. Like I can do like a power slide. Like I can't. I don't do like a like a clutch kick, hold the line, apex, blah 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 sort of shit. You know, I just sort of just do a nice little little skirt skirt, and I just you know skirt skirt. Why did I do this? Why did I do that for skirt skirt? the fuck another thing I've learned about it this car's first gear torque is a mother for a $10,000 car again this was $10,000 they're still $10,000 surprisingly they haven't gone down in value all that much over a whole year yeah like yeah like this car this was $10,000 it has so much goddamn torque in first gear and second gear it's crazy this thing throws your head back it snaps your neck and this is on stock power like I can't even imagine boosted or anything I mean the most powerful car I've ever driven was the M3 and that's only 414 which is like somewhere around what I want to get this car to one day so I cannot fathom what it must feel like to have 500 600 horsepower first gear pull all that shit but this one for a ten thousand dollar first car this is powerful it has strength and that strength can come back to bite you in the ass you have to respect this car's ability and power what the fuck is wrong with you while you walking in the middle of the goddamn street someone going fucking kill you okay anyways you have to respect this car's power Otherwise, it will kill you. <laughs> this car can kill you. I I can only drive it because I'm a fairly good driver. I have I only have a couple friends who wouldn't die driving this car, who wouldn't crash it, who wouldn't get hurt. I should say, who wouldn't get hurt driving this car. And one of them's Corey. <laughs> Anyone else would honestly get hurt, even if they knew how to drive stick in like a slow car they would get hurt driving this car it is dangerous fairly but it's when you know how to control it and when you know how to drive calmly and not get road rage not get overexcited not go too hard on the back roads and stuff hey i just got a thumbs up from some dude <laughs> yeah so you just have to respect it but anyways speaking of thumbs up from people let's oh the chicken fell the chicken fell oh shit the chicken fell oh fuck Whew. it's good it's, it, it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay 
back to what I was saying about people's reaction to this car it's crazy like first of all I just got a thumbs up from that guy um, at the car meets I'm like pretty popular that probably because there's not a lot of Z's around at our car meets there's like like five and everyone else is like Honda Civics chicken 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 god damn it god damn it chicken felt god shit I'm gonna fucking crash over, over, over some fried chicken stay stay fried chicken stay stay speak the language god I'm fucking crazy people's reaction to this car is crazy okay so an another thing my, my my friend told me on his bus, because my parking spot is, is right in front of the bus lane, so all the buses pass my car when they leave. Kids on his bus, ma mainly freshmen, of course, of course, um, think that it's like a hundred thousand dollar like supercar. I'm just like, boy, yo, no shit, you don't know shit. This thing costs ten thousand dollars. They think it's a hundred thousand dollar supercar. One of my my friend's sister, again, someone who doesn't know about cars, but it's still a genuine reaction, thought my car was a Lamborghini. I've had my car mistaken for a Porsche. I'm not I'm not saying that like it's awesome that that I, that they that they think I'm a I'm a cooler car than I am. That that's not it. It's the fact that they they think so highly of it on just seeing it. You know, it's it's just so cool. Like I've gotten tons of thumbs up. I remember I had m my first Z boy moment when I first got the car. There was a white 350Z driving the other way past me, and basically he's he oh, he rolls down his window and and he's like a big dude like a real big dude i don't know how he fits into this car but real big dude sticks his whole hand out the window peace sign right out there peace sign right out the window his whole hand just straight up in the air i'm just like that's my boy i'm just like yeah that's this is this is vq fam right here vq fam like YouTube, I get I get hit up all the time. I get nice comments and stuff like that. It's really awesome. It's really really awesome. People want want to ride in my car all the damn time, all the damn time. Sometimes I let them. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> all depends. Because this car is very fun to ride in. Because it's a very it's a very dramatic ride. You know, it's a very dramatic ride because you feel like you're gonna die at all times. So. <laughs> So that's why people love to ride in it so much. Uh, the gas mileage on this car is actually okay, for one thing, you know. It's like it's like, decent. It's like, like 15, 16, and that's with an exhaust system. Before I got the exhaust, I was doing like, uh, like 17, 18, 19, somewhere around there. Uh, and then I got the exhaust, and then it just, it threw off the efficiency so damn far. <laughs> and then I got the intake, which made it even worse. Uh, and eventually I want to get test pipes which will make it even worse so yeah you, you get the picture but one day when I tune it I'm gonna have a full custom exhaust engine well not custom exhaust a full aftermarket exhaust so headers test pipes and of course the exhaust system and then my fuel efficiency will hopefully be a little bit better <laughs> probably just look pretty shit but you know what whatever another thing is this car hasn't had any major mechanical difficulties so far. It hasn't been, it hasn't had, had any major malfunctions, which is great. I love that. And the best thing of all, this car has just made me so much happier in general. I have struggled with happiness for a very, very long time. That's a whole, whole nother story. Because I know that in the videos I've seen, like I'm crazy, super happy and stuff. And that's because I'm working on the car or, or I'm driving it. And I am and I am super happy in those moments because I'm with the car. But then there's times when I'm not with the car. And those times are very different. So, but yes, this car has literally improved my life so much. It's invaluable. I'm so happy I got this car specifically. Specifically the 350Z. I'm so happy I got this car. Oh, it's, it's unbelievable how much it has changed my life. And I, I, I love it to death. I love it to death. And on that note, guys, I'm back home, so I gotta end this video. But yo, 
thank you guys for watching once again I don't care if you like or subscribe to my channel or videos because I do this for fun but if you did that would be awesome because then I can start making money and do more pods okay so all right guys I'm gonna eat this fried chicken I'm gonna eat this fried chicken right here and until the next dream boys until that next dream yeah